Hey, Hannah Mouse One here. Welcome to a slightly different devlog video. This is the first of a three part series in which I'll be converting my scratch farming game, A Farmer's Life, into different game engines Unity, Game Maker Studio 2, and Godot. Sorry, Unreal, but I don't feel like making my computer blow up today. In this first episode, I'll be focusing on Unity. I have every intention of continuing to make A Farmer's Life in Scratch, but the project is veering closer and closer to something that I would call complete, and I'm not sure what I want to do after that. Will I want to stay on Scratch, or will I want to use a more more robust game engine with the intention of making a commercial release down the line. If I do want to use a different game engine, I want to make sure that I'm using the best fit for me. And I have no intention of making a full version of the game in this game engine. I just want to see how much of the game I can get done in a week, give or take. Another reason I'm doing this now is because I've just released a build of A Farmer's Life over on Scratch, which you should totally check out by the way, because I record the dev logs a few weeks in advance. I want to give you a chance to play the build and give me feedback back on it before continuing development. So if you want to have an impact on the direction of a farmer's life, now is a great time for you to get on that. Other than that though, let's just jump right in with the video. I start off in Scratch and export every one of the costumes that I'll be needing for this little project. I'm essentially creating an asset pack here that I can use in all of the game engines. I find an online website for compiling these individual images into sprite sheets and to make things a bit more manageable, I download a free font from Dafont and I'll be able to use all of this in every Every episode of this series. I then jump into Unity. I'm not going to give you a play by play of exactly what I'm doing all the time just because I'll admit I was completely all over the place and I'm not adding anything that I haven't already added into the scratch version anyway. Instead I want to talk more generally about my experience with Unity. So I've made a couple small Unity projects before and I thought that I was getting the hang of things and maybe I was but then I took a massive break from using the platform and then jumped straight back into a bunch of systems that I've never used before, at least not on this scale, like animation or tile maps. But these are features that I would absolutely need to master if I wanted to use Unity as my game engine of choice. And overall, I found Unity to be an interesting experience. I find that I hate my life when I'm actually trying to do anything, scrolling through page upon page of documentation and years old forums in hopes of finding something close to what I need. And it's so frustrating, but then it works and it's the best thing to happen ever. And suddenly it's all worth it and I'm eager to dive into the next task rinse repeat. Of course that comes down to my having absolutely no clue what I'm doing, but should it really have taken me multiple hours to create a basic mouse over effect when you mouse over the tiles? I felt so angry, like it felt like such a basic thing that should have been super easy to figure out, but then adding in tiling and watering came really easily and I felt really good again. I mean, the hardest part where this video was concerned was that progress was pretty slow. I didn't get much done all things considered, not as much as I wanted to at any rate. I got the farm shop and inventory system sorted and I managed to cobble together a basic planting and harvesting system even though it's buggy and a lot of the features I want aren't there. It's not much but considering I only gave myself a week and a bit to do this I guess that it's okay and the progress I made is definitely something I can compare to what I make on the other platforms as a comparison point to see which one suits me best and even though I didn't get quite as much done as I might have liked I do feel like I definitely learned a lot and it would be much more comfortable using this platform platform to make games down the line if I did choose to use Unity as my game engine of choice. Overall I am super glad that I tried this out, it was a great learning experience. And apart from that, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe if you did, it lets me know that this is something you want to see more of. Don't forget to check out A Farmer's Life and send me your feedback, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!